Okay, welcome. I am at Rarity Cup. This is on the spot with Anna Mott. And you might see that I'm wearing some beautiful millinery today. And this is by Louise McDonald. This is the Minuet Beret. And um, I'm feeling rather special. It's a bit of a cool day, so I've decided to have some long sleeves on. It is autumn, but I, it's okay because I am wearing um, some some. Look, well, what? Um, what? You tell me. Oh, you, you, that's okay. Look, uh, this is Louis, the beautiful <laughs> Louise McDonald. You're wearing it, the little uh, minuet beret. Yes. And it is made from a vintage straw cloth underneath mm -hmm. with um, a lovely uh, black lace over the top and a cinema trim with a pearl muffle. And I think that the um, the straw cloth underneath gives it a good, it's a good trans-seasonal weight. So that's a hat that you yes. can wear in the summer, winter or autumn because it's, it's not too light and it's not too heavy. So you suggest that I could wear this during winter? Yes, I think you could. Yes. I yeah. like yeah. being able to get away with the transitional pieces. <laughs> <laughs> now I am just going to do a quick look at you. You look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> And you are judging the millinery plus the fashions on the field the today. On the field, yes. And just have a look at your. Can you run us through your hat, please, Louise? Um, yes, I'm wearing. Uh, this is one that I whipped up for myself this week. Actually. You? Why, why do I, millinery's always say well, this last no, minute? I don't normally do that, but I was at the beautiful girls' day lunch last week where I saw yes. you and lots of other people looking spectacular, and I thought, oh, come on, Louise, you've got a <laughs> game here. <laughs> that same old hat that you've worn the last three functions so I thought oh I better whip myself up something something else to wear so this is from I love doing this sort of work it's with the uh, sculpted uh, cinema but it's quite a close weave cinema and I'm just going to layers. focus in on it and and the flower the flower I made myself it was a, a diamante hat pin yes. and then I had some raffia braid that I sort of twisted it around and cut it to make it look like a, a flower it's so useful and can I just get it twirl so we can see the back that is absolutely stunning and gorgeous and your hair just looks beautiful. Now what is the feather at the back? What? Um, well there, uh, it's a turkey feather, sort of cut up into sort of feather beads and, and threaded on some wire to make that sort of light feathery pom-pom effect. Okay, now I'm going to learn this because I'm going to do some classes in winter. So I will know all about these hats and so I can judge them in a better way. And your school, now what's your dot com? Louise. Uh, millinery.com.au And also you've got an info website which basically goes through a lot of information about yes, millinery. It's a, a, a millinery.info it is. Okay. And, uh, that's been going for a few years and my, my partner helped me put that together. Yes. Um, so there's quite a, there's a millinery dictionary, there's interviews with milliners from around the world and uh, we, we do our best to update it whenever we can with different um, interviews. At the moment we've just put an article up about millinery blogs, the different millinery blogs that you can find on the internet. That's night. great, because we love milliners yeah. at Raising Fashion. <laughs> so thank you so much. So are you looking in for anything in particular today, being a judge? Um, well, I am, I am looking for... Uh, of coordination of outfit that you know things work together they just don't necessarily have to be matchy matchy but it has to all work well together and I like you know people who have, have given it a little bit of extra thought in terms of their accessories their shoes or their bags just to make the whole outfit work I think mm -hmm. that would be fun um, I am hopefully going to see some interesting headwear yes um, some new ideas hopefully some new things that people might have put together um, what else will I be looking for instructed to look at things that are on trend in terms of on fashion. trend yes on trend, well you're right. definitely on trend and I hope by the woman in the store told me I was on trend <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much Louise and I just love getting these little updates from my friends the milliners and I love looking at your website it's got so much information oh. really it's fantastic <laughs> I love it thank you so much my uh, pleasure Anna Okay, this is On The Spot with Anna Mott and here, I don't know whether Louise can get a bit I'm going to, Louise is going to come around this way, Louise so Anna's coming. looking this way and the lights on. Ah, oh, there we go, now we can there see her. There we go. Oh, going, am I going to trip over anything, Anna? There we go. No, I need a table, don't go too far. Okay. Don't go too far.
Ooh la la, beautiful. Ooh la la, merci beaucoup. <laughs> and my beautiful beret, transseasonal. <laughs> and I have been told it's okay to wear it during winter by Louise McDonald, so it's okay. Thank you so much. Over and out.